Sure. Well, I was just, I guess, in the now, not even knowing those kind of trendy words, but I was on a spiritual quest, and I had decided that God, um, if, if I believed that God was this beautiful, fabulous being, that that would reflect who I am as, as um, in contrast. If I thought God was mean and nasty and punished people, then that's probably kind of how I would become. I would start to reflect what I viewed God as. So I started on this spiritual quest, and I'm a geek beyond geeks, and I can read a textbook a day and love it. (laughs) Sorry, I have to laugh at myself. And so I started out with um, the Bible to the different versions to the Kabbalists, and had some really eye-opener ideas there, quickly moving into the, the ancient Sumerian stuff, some of the mystery schools of the Essenes, of um, John the Beloved, into Egypt, and the papyri and the hermetic magic over to Lao Tzu. And I spent probably 20 years reading all this stuff, um, looking for the best and highest of what is God, what is love. And any time I would do this reading, and I read something about sound, me being a musician since five, the hair stood up on my arms. I got so excited. I just felt like I was plugged into heaven. And I started to write these down because they just felt so good. And, of course, years later I have stacks. And it was quite a quest because it, it took me about 20 years to figure this out. Um, I have the background of a musician, a mystic. I'm very psychic. I have most psychic skills. Um, I love anthropology, um, archaeology, physics, particularly quantum physics. And I needed all of these backgrounds to understand the ancient mysteries. When, when you first read them, it sounds like, they're on drugs or something, you know. It's like, oh, these guys are crazy and super suspicious. But then as I learned more and more, I began to recognize quantum physics. And perhaps like the Lao Tzu, that mystery school, would teach me about resonance and how to heal the organs in your body. And then the next time I went back to the papyri and the Egyptians, instead of thinking they were silly, I understood the wisdom of what they were saying. So I guess I was just living life and noticing what made me feel like really good. And I just followed it blindly without any goals and just kind of jumped into the most heavenly feeling I could find. And voila, here I am. (laughs) And and I've had a lot of magic on the journey, like... um, I've had some out-of-body experiences um, for my last CD. One of the ones in the package is Deep Wave Body Healing. And I had this out-of-body experience in which I I believed I was in Atlantis. And I was watching children play. And here's here's where maybe I should be more mature, but I was like, oh, brother. They were playing with like toys that looked like pancreas and spleens. And I was like, you know, like, hey, man, what's the video game? (laughs) Barbie, I mean, come on. (laughs) Spleens? But anyway, what I then I understood was that that, um, the earlier people in Atlantis were very ethereal and very highly developed. Um, Clairvoyance and clairaudience on steroids, kind of like Donna Eden and Sherry Edwards combined. And because they were able to see your aura and hear your body communicate, they could see as soon as you got just a little bit out of health, the color would go dark and it would sound nasty. And then they would hum and imagine colors. They'd use colors and elements and foods and primarily sound. And they would simply tune up and maintain health for ridiculously long lifetimes. And 
what I saw in my vision was the people in Atlantis that had lost these super clairvoyant, clairaudient abilities, and they were just like you and me. And they were teaching their children all about the organs, what they sounded like, what color their aura was, what kind of food would make it healthy, what kind of um, elements, and so forth, doing all these different correspondences. So they could still continue these super long, healthy lives and master their bodies. Anyway, I um, came back from this little um, journey, and I created Deep Wave Body Healing, which is in essence that with science you can figure out the frequency of a healthy organ. And there's many studies in medicine that show that when they correct the frequency of an organ in an animal, that then the organ returns to health. It, the organ heals itself when it's in tune. And in deep wave body healing, we have this music and the key signature of a healthy organ. And then I um, have all the harmonics and tones of a healthy organ in the background. And then we go through and we do the correspondences. And I, I from that experience, I have become familiar with how my organs feel when healthy. It's almost like I'm a god and my organs are little people in my body and I know what they feel like. My my spleen feels very different than my liver. And I'm becoming more aware, a, a greater master of my own body. And you can learn it in the deep body healing. I mean, the sound can do just about anything, just like as I saw in my, my little vision. 